Hi, um, I am going to go ahead and do a quick lesson showing you guys how to do dynamic, dynamic subtraction with the golden beads that we have online. Um, I have this tool linked to the top of our class Facebook page, but if you guys can't find it, please feel free to reach out to me um, and I will get that link sent over to you. Let me refresh this page. So dynamic subtraction means um, su subtraction that requires borrowing. So when you've got like a bigger number um, on the bottom of your, uh, on the bottom part of your, your equation. So um, I will go ahead, I'll just start with a simple two digit problem. So we'll do 63 minus 37. So for subtraction, you're only going to set up your top number. So we have got our we've got our unit beads, our 10 bars, our 100 squares, and our thousands cube. So for 63, we're going to need three unit beads. One, two, three, and six 10 bars. So one, two, three, four, five, so that gives us 63 and we're going to take away 37. Well, we look at our units and we realize that we cannot take seven from three. So we're going to have to borrow. So what we're going to do is we're going to borrow from our 10 spot. So we're going to borrow a 10 here and then we're going to add it here. So we took a 10 bar away and we're going to add, that means we're going to add 10 unit beads. So that's one two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So on paper, when we're doing this on paper, so if you're using your golden beads along with your, um, while you're doing your math, we borrowed from our 10 spots. So we're going to have to cross this out that six became a five because we borrowed a 10. And this three became a 13 because we added 10. So now we can take seven from 13. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna go ahead and put seven back because we're taking them away, away, all the way away. So we'll put one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And that leaves us with six beads left over. So we'll go ahead and write six right here. And then we'll move into our 10 spot. And we can take three from five. So let's go ahead and do that one. Take them away, away, all the way away. We'll put them up and that leaves us with two. So 63 minus 37 gives us 26. Um, I'm going to go ahead and do a number that goes into the hundreds place for you guys. Um, let me refresh this page. So we can go ahead and do, we'll do 428. Minus 239. My handwriting's a little wonky. Okay, so um, to set for subtraction, we're just setting up our top number. So we'll do 428. We need eight unit beads for our one spot. One, two, three, four five, six, seven, eight. We have two 10 bars for our 10 spot. Then we need 400 squares for our 100 spot. So when we're looking at our problem, we start on our unit side and we look at it wants us to take nine from eight, but we can't do that because nine is a bigger number than eight. So what we're gonna have to do is we're gonna have to go to our 10 spot and borrow a 10. So we'll borrow a 10 bar here, and then we'll add it to our unit. 
minutes. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So when we're, when we're showing on paper, when we're showing our work on paper, that means that we borrowed a 10. So that leaves us with the one. And we added 10 to our unit spot, spot which, gives us, which gives us 18, right? Now we have 18 beads in our unit spot. So now we can take a nine from 18. So I'll go ahead and put nine back. We're gonna take them away, away, all the way away. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And that leaves us with one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So 18 minus nine is nine. So our next step is to move into our tens column. But if we look at our tens column, we have one take away three and we can't do that. So we're gonna borrow from our next place value over, we're gonna borrow from our hundreds. So I'm gonna put my hundred square back and then I'm gonna do 10, 10 bars because this gave us a hundred, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, so I borrowed from my 100 spot. We made that four a three. We added 10 to our one, making this 11. So now we're gonna do 11 take away three. So let's put three of these back. One, two, three, and that leaves us with one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So 11 minus three is eight. And then our last step in our problem, is three minus two. So we have three and we'll put two back and this gives us one. So these golden beads work the same way as they do um, at school. I just kind of wanted to give a review for those of you at home that are maybe struggling a little bit with math and that way mom and dad can see how this works too. So our answer is 189. We have 100 square, eight tens and then nine units. So I hope this is helpful. You guys let me know if you have any questions. Bye.